Okay, so I'm just going to gradually increase the weight on this soda can. Turn on the scale. Forty pounds already. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. A hundred. Hundred and twenty. Hundred and thirty. Hundred and thirty pounds. So here we've got the same soda cans. Uh, they're all exactly the same. This is uh, the one that I just crushed with 130 pounds of weight. And this is one of the soda cans where I've cut out the metal that makes up the actual support. So this piece of metal here, this piece was supporting 130 pounds before it uh, suddenly collapsed. So the question is, if you take this exact same piece of metal and we just use it to support anything in a way where it's not structurally sound, it's not being supported by, by the sides, and in the case of this can, it's kind of self-supporting. Uh, if we just try to support it on this scale here, how much weight can it actually support as a piece of metal? And I'm getting eight ounces. I've got eight ounces of support there before it buckles. And if I actually bow it slightly, you'll see you actually get a bit less. You get about, it's supporting six ounces of weight there. So less than half a pound when, when it's in its proper structural position like this and all braced by being uh, in a perfect position, braced top and bottom, it can actually support over 130 pounds. So it's actually, uh, the supporting strength is reduced between this and this by a factor of about 200. So how does this explain the 2.5 seconds of free fall in the World Trade Center 7 building? If this top portion of the building, the whole building is falling down, you would think this bottom portion would offer some resistance because you know, it's strong enough to support the upper part of the building, so you'd think it would slow it down. However, as we've just seen, uh, if you remove the structural support of the lower part of the building, and we just have the steel of the exterior wall, you can only support about less than half of 1% of its actual weight. So what we're seeing in the World Trade Center uh, 7 collapse is not uh, one, one part of the building falling on intact, strong uh, other part of the building. It's the upper part of the building falling on a, uh, a part of the building that has been structurally compromised. And you can't see that building, part of the building, because it's behind some other buildings that are in front of uh, the videos that are being shot. So you only see this part of the building falling down. You don't see this part of the building buckling. So what you're actually going to be seeing is something more like this. The lower part of the building simply buckles away. Uh, remember, this is all just scale models, it doesn't scale exactly. But this is the part of the building that used to be able to support 130 pounds, now it only supports half a pound, so it's offering less than uh, half of one percent of its resistance that it could be for. So the end result is essentially you know, exactly the same as uh, free fall would be.